So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. <laughs> Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. <clears throat> Buckle up, everybody! Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Ah, thought this thing was all terrain. You gotta gun it before you hit the hill. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus. Onward and upward. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need tracks in here. Nathan, the rocks. All right, hang on, guys. I got it. I got it. Let's not get stuck here. Easy. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. No, there turn into it. <laughs> uh. 
Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Oh, oh shit! Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam. Look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Got some big plans for this winch. Do it. Whoa, whoa. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. 
It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Stay put. Later. Ready to go. Got military types poking around. Nadine's guys. Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Follow my lead. Put me in charge. I'll get the whole thing done in half the time. Considering the last time you handled explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. Half the time, but I'll be sure to remember the final deal.
nothing here. Where are you, asshole? Okay, I think that's it. Uh, damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Well, looks like Nadine hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. I don't think Rafe has much of a say in the matter. Look, another sigil. Huh, Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here?
One down, one to go. I wasn't against getting the winch, I was against getting ripped off. Shit, shit, shit! Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Staying in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. What would you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Ah, ah hell. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. Uh, Victor, you were saying? Right. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. Oh, shoreline idiots. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man. What's with the wheel? And the pirate sits back. Ah, he's... Uh, check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Sorry, you were saying? Um, oh, right. And the pirate sits back. Ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here.
Not even think about it. Hmm? She'll know. What's it? My God! <laughs> Nice try! Damn it! Nice one! Nice work. Think we're clear. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? <laughs> a little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonny. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Uh, 
the hell? The stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. kid. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special Got this? Mm hmm. I seen a few. Bring the car closer. Uh. You two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. Keep up the good work, kid. Watch it. Keep out. 
No way. <laughs> Where is this pig? <laughs> anything. Where'd you go? Get that bridge down. Let's try that again. There we go. 
go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Well, it was worth a try. Don't spin out now. Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. Hey, Nathan! That tree up there looks like a good anchor point! There we go. We're all set. Here we go. All right, hang on, guys. Share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. The whole thing under control. <clears throat> Hold on to something. Yeah, I'm almost this 
disappointed. <laughs> Almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Get in that way. <laughs> 